In this video, we're going to be talking about feng shui, wind chimes, and bells. So there are so many articles online these days about talking about feng shui, wind chimes, feng shui, bells, feng shui, anything that makes sound. Right?、Mm -hmm. They say. First of all, what I'm going to ask is I'm going to I'm going to share a little bit about what other people are saying about、mm -hmm. this, and then I'd love to hear your feedback about the truth about feng shui, about、okay. these wind chimes and bells and all this kind of stuff,、okay. right? So they say that <coughs> wind chimes and bells and things that make sound、mm. dispel negative energy in the house. Why? What the reason <laughs> why they say like that? They say that、uh, so say for example, if you're in a quiet place. To have the sound of the bells is like peaceful. It, it creates energy in the space instead of being like a dead air. Yeah, but then why they say the negative instead of positive? That one I don't know. They just keep on saying that it has it has negative chi or bad chi, and it allows to dispel the bad chi. But <clears throat> there's sometimes more I、detail. feel like why humans doesn't doesn't look in a good way. You、mm. remember that. People healing each other by the sound as well. Yeah, the crystal balls. And,、right? Yes, and also in the past we also do、um, a lot of healing by sound.、Mm. But I have to say that it's not it nothing in the world gonna be negative or positive in one way. Yeah. All right. For example, like if you live in the jungle、mm -hmm. and you have a wind chant, sometimes it scared all the animals, so you not get attacked by them.、Mm. All right. And for me, after the time passed by, <laughs> feng shui also changing.、Mm -hmm. I also use wind charm or or something that makes sound to to helping. You have to know that even we sit it here, we have a lot of things that human cannot see. For example, like telephone, you、mm. know the the radiation, radiation,、right? yeah. the the. Frequency, yeah, the wavelengths, yes, yeah, and also the electric thing、mm -hmm. and everything that human cannot see.、Mm. You might say that I'm so idiot to say like this, but I have to say that if you check it out,、mm -hmm. you can see that we use sound as a weapons and we use sound as a to interrupt the radiation or even、mm. the frequency. So the wind chime, so the sound of the wind chime actually will will interrupt the the radiation、yes. coming from、yes. those electric、uh, electrical or magnetic、yes. energy, right? Yes,、mm. but also the、uh, the thing to make a wind chime is、mm. the most important. What do you mean the thing to the 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 actual material that you yes. use? Yes, yes, yeah. For example, like if you use plastic,、mm -hmm. then. It's not gonna make the sequence that it can interrupt. Oh! If you use metal, what、mm -hmm. kind of metal? If you use a jewelry, what kind of jewelry? So you actually have to think. They they do talk about this. They say that they you know you have wooden wood, wood、uh, wind chimes, you have metal wind chimes, plastic crystal、mm -hmm. wind chimes.、Mm -hmm. So in your opinion, what is the best wind chime if you want to cut the radiation?、Um, I already、pollution? told you. To be honest, <clears throat> every single, for example, like if you say that you're gonna use met,、uh, uh, metal,、mm -hmm. what kind of metal? Yeah. So most wind chimes, I think, are aluminum. Yeah. These days. That's why I say to you that when I go to Japan,、mm -hmm. I buy a wind charm that's so expensive because they use the material that it make really like very. What do you call it? I don't it know in English.、Frequency? Like, yeah.、Okay. Sometimes wind charm doesn't have any sound, but、yeah. the dog can hear.、Oh, Because、okay. the more the more that it's so detailed,、mm -hmm. the more that it can cut. So it's like the concentrated wavelength. Yes, so you have to、yes. find a wind chime that has like a really <coughs> concentrated yes, wavelength. Yes. Yes. That's why in the past. The people when they go to war,、mm -hmm. they have to train their ear to hear as detail as possible.、Mm. The long length, the more the long that you can hear,、yeah. the more that you can use as a weapons.、Mm. So the more charming, the, the the more sound that it's so so loud,、mm -hmm. that's not good. 
Okay, so it's not about like if you have a loud wind chime, it's、mm. going to make it, the the pollution go away f- no. faster. It has to be that concentrated sound, and、yeah. you have to find the right、yeah. thing. So do the research about it as well、mm. for yourself.、Yeah. So just having a wind chime that you say, "Oh, this is a nice sound," that does not give good energy.、Mm-hmm. That does not give good、no. chi. Okay, so I've got a few more questions though. They say that putting the wind chime in a specific area in the house will. Impact or help your career or your health or your relationship, depending on where you put it in the house. Does is that have that, any truth to it? If if that wind charm have the sequence like I say,、mm-hmm. it also affect human brain.、Mm-hmm. For example, that's why you say that crystal ball is、yeah. can help because of that. But you have to make sure that what kind of wind charm that you're gonna use, yeah, and、sure. where you're gonna put it. And when it's gonna make sound,、mm. you know, is it's have a lot of detail. That's why I say that the real feng shui that everyone been forget about it is nature. So if you can't do like a nature way、yeah. in a good way, because everything, okay, for example, like if you have a good wind charm,、mm-hmm. but it's going the wrong time, it's going the wrong day, it's wrong, going wrong <laughs> person or something like that. Then、right? it's、mm. fucked up anyway. So,、mm. so that is the feng shui truth about wind chimes. The truth is, you really have to do your research, and it's not about like what sounds nice. You really have to find the the right、mm. wavelength. And mostly right now, what you use wind chimes for is not about dispelling negative energy. It's actually about dispelling the radiation or the electromagnetic radiation the that we get is, from a lot. A of- lot of people right now have problem. They can't sleep well.、Mm. If you use a wind charm that is very concentrated, like Really, really detail.、Mm-hmm. It attach your brain, and it、mm-hmm. can make you calm and sleep as well. So,、okay. in a lot of thing in the past, we use it,、mm-hmm. but you guys just forget about it and then didn't use it anymore.、Mm-hmm. So basically, do your research about the wavelength of a wind chime. If you're gonna buy a wind chime, don't buy just any wind chime. Make sure that it's the right wind chime for you as well.、Mm-hmm. Right? Okay, guys. If you have any other questions about feng shui. Uh, mindset, weekday astrology, anything at all, you can leave them in the comment section below. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any other、uh, videos that we do, and click the bell for notifications. And we'll see you next time.